Now let's build an interactive website where we get input from users and process it. In this video, we're going to learn what get and post requests are. And more importantly, we'll use the post method to create a website that actually interacts with the user. Just to keep it simple, a get request is usually made when you just want to load or view something on a web page. A POST request is used when you want to send some data from the user to the server, like submitting a form. In our previous videos, everything we did was actually a GET request, even though we didn't specifically mention it. That's because GET is the default method when you open a web page. Now let's create an example to understand the difference between GET and POST requests. Now instead of rendering index.html, we're going to switch things up and render a file called form.html. Here's what this code does. The form tag creates a form on the page, and method post means that when the user submits the form, it will send a post request. The input field is where the user types their name. The name keyword equals the name value. This is the key we'll use to grab that data later in our Flask app. And finally, the button lets the user submit the form. In main.py, we also need to import the request module from Flask. You can think of a module as a toolbox that gives us extra features. We then update our at app.route by adding methods equals get post, so our route can now handle both types of requests. Inside the function, we check. If the request method is post, we grab the value from the input using request.formName and assign it to the variable name. Then we return a simple message like hello name, but if the user just visited the page, which is a get request, we simply render form.html. Now, how does a POST request actually happen? It's easy. When the user clicks the Send button on the form, a POST request is automatically sent. That's it. Let's run the app and test it out. I open the app in the browser, type in Schofield, click the button, and boom! It shows Hello Schofield on the screen. You can try different names too. So in this video, we learned the basics of GET and POST requests and how to handle user input in Flask. See you in the next video.